Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. As you can see, there's our friend Biffa down there, there's our friend Cleo's expansive new base in the distance. Uh, Biffa seems to be coming to say hello. Howdy. What's that thing we do? We switch our hands. Oh no, that's Python. Sorry Biffa, I had you confused with somebody else. Also British. Whatever. So, anyway, in this episode, we are planning to head over and dump some more steaks into our cattle, uh, I don't know, steak shop. Unfortunately, I've been super busy with my trip to Chicago, and so I haven't had a chance to do too much on the server between episodes in terms of preparation. I hope you guys check out my vlog of my Chicago trip, though. Man, I'm getting some crazy frame rate issues. Hopefully that's not anything too bad. Hmm... I might have to go record in a different part of the server, though. And there we go. Our steak shop is refilled. Let's let everybody know. Steak shop is refilled. Also, art gallery auctions are now open to bidding. Swing by if you can. So hopefully we get some folks who are interested in that. I was going to say, it's going to be a really crazy week. I've got a few friends flying in from out of town. We're going to record a uh, live-action Pitfalls and Penguins game, comparable to the What campaign we did a few years ago. And so if you are dealing with Joe Hill's withdrawal while I'm busy filming that and not able to film as many Hermitcraft episodes, then feel free to watch the What campaign or just rewatch my old Minecraft stuff. That's okay, too. Now, don't worry, because, you know, I've got friends flying in from out of town to do this. It's an especially dense week with uh, trying to get that all together. So it's not like every week I'm going to be shooting Pitfalls and Penguins videos all the time. It's just this one particular week when they're here for four days or five days, i got to spend those four or five days just making that because uh, it's a uh, good use of my time as a host and their time as a guest if we get the whole thing knocked out all at once. So that'll be a pretty fun adventure. It's, uh, I don't want to say too much about it because we are still, um, you know, it, it's going to be a while until it all gets edited and posted somewhere and we won't be streaming it. But I did want you to know that I was not just like disappearing for the sake of disappearing. I had my brother's graduation last weekend and I've got that big film shoot coming up. Now, uh, what I can say about it is that the premise is that our adventuring party is a group of employees working on a film who are, in fact, the only non-union employees working on the film. And they get approached by one of the film's fi interested financial parties about making sure that the whole thing stays afloat, even when all the odds are stock stacked against it. So it'll be pretty comedy, comedic, funny. Also, as you can see over here, I had a lot of opportunities to play, but not a lot of opportunities to record this weekend. So I actually pulled out this entire earthworks here and also you know I'm just gonna run to the end where I'm not gonna be jumping on my own crops the whole time eventually I'm gonna have like dirt in between some of these rows or all of these rows except for where the water and glowstone is but it's not there yet also I noticed I got a lot of comments about like dear Joe how come you don't have um how come you don't plant a whole field all at once how come you, you're doing these lines and some people have argued that the wheat grows faster, which it might. I don't actually know one way or the other. Um, although, supposedly, Asuma knows, so I should ask him. But uh, basically, I just wanted to make sure that it looked like we had actual rows of, uh, of, of what do you call it, rows of crops, like you would on a real farm. Like, the goal here is not to farm this all the time. In fact, I planned on planting it and then never digging any of it up, but I immediately realized that that was a bad idea because I don't have enough seeds to plant the whole thing. I have like, or I had, two chests full of seeds back at my house, and now I have no chests full of seeds, and I'm actively, like, replanting my own farm several times so I can get enough seeds to cover all of the rows that haven't been planted yet. I ended up making myself a diamond hoe because it turned out that the iron hoes I was going through, of which I went through like 15, were just not enough. So I got a, iron, or got a diamond hoe and got unbreaking three on it or whatever, and that's been serving me pretty well so far. But like, as you can see, if I do a whole row there, I'm only going to get three 
and change stacks of, uh, of seeds. And then I'm going to have to use a good deal of that just to replant the row that I just pulled from. Now, on the plus side, this is giving me a ton of wheat. And because I'm not interested in storing a bunch of wheat right now either, that was how I was able to feed the cows and restock my steak shop. I'm hoping all the diamonds I get from the steak shop I can use to buy an Elytra eventually because one of the reasons I put this base so close to the rest of the server is because I, or to the, um, the mesa biome over there, is I'd like to be able to fly from the mesa biome to over here. And I'm not sure how close I'm going to get to actually achieving that goal, but I think it, it is within the realm of believability and, uh, so I plan to strive for it. Oh yeah, here's this little bridge I put in. Doesn't go all the way, or it does kind of, but not well. So as you can see, I got plenty over here that still needs to be planted, and I also still need to uh, get rid of this last remaining elevation change here. I wanted to go through and show you guys how fast the shovel I finally enchanted. These efficiency five shovels, or is this even four? No, this is four. These efficiency four shovels are pretty nice. I had been doing it with efficiency three, and it is a night and day difference. It is just a, a qualitative difference that I really appreciate. So I can just wipe out all that. Also, I've got a ton more dirt now than I did, which is good because I've been using it to fill in a bunch of uh, holes and stuff. Like there is a valley in the back here, which I'm going to show you shortly. And of course now I'm starving. Luckily, st steaks today. I was prepared. But anyway, so yeah, there was a huge valley here, or at least a divot, and I've covered in most of it. Man, there are a lot of birds chirping right now. Um, one thing I decided to kind of do was to build around this little cave entrance here. So on the off chance that this does end up connecting to um, my good friend Wells Knight's base somehow, he can decide if he wants to put in a, a, a glass cover here. Another thing I wanted to do in an upcoming episode, and you guys can feel free to leave comments on this, is I wanted to put in some sort of seawall that would not be visible from the uh, base itself, from my farm. But, like, if you're out on a boat here and you're coming around, like, you, right now I feel like the, these walls are kind of not great. And I could naturally grade them toward the sea, but I think something's like, in stone or, or something else might look good. I don't want it to be visible from the surface, though, like... At least, like, from the portal there. So I'm kind of inclined to put the top level of the wall as either green um, green clay or brown clay. Something that doesn't look, obviously, like stone, but maybe layers of stone underneath. If you guys want to put suggestions for that in the comments, I would love to hear them because ideas are great. Man, I gotta say, one thing I love about playing out here is that my frame rate is awesome. Now that things are getting too built up by spawn, it's a little bit uh, hurting a little. But luckily, I am investing in a new graphics card soon, hopefully. And so I will be able to record at higher frame rates. If you want to help me be able to afford that, I know... Okay, I think that my ice machine is running. Sorry. If you want to help me be able to afford that, I know I normally don't ask for money for my Patreon in the YouTube videos, but since I got a big purchase coming up, I would like to say thank you to everybody who has supported my Patreon. And anybody who's interested, you can throw money in at... Uh, patreon.com slash joe hills it is linked always in the description and uh that's a big help when i want to record with other people sometimes i have to hire a babysitter because my wife works a lot of hours um because she's a grad student and they do that so yeah it, it it's not necessarily free for me to say hey i want to hang out with biffa and Asuma and do this dragon fight or, or whatever so also, equipment costs money. So in this case, you know, some of the money from this month is going to be going to getting a new graphics card so I can hopefully start doing 1080p videos. Uh, I'm, that's not guaranteed going to start, like, right when I get the new card because it's going to take some time to shake out, like, all the kinks of the editing and, uh... Well, I mean, I can edit 1080p videos, but I want to make sure my recording software handles it properly, and I might even switch recording software um, depending on what works well with the new card. But anyway, so there will be a process there. So this is going to be a big month for me. I've, I've traveled to Chicago and made a travelogue for you to enjoy. I'm going to be traveling at the end of the month again to another secret destination for another secret graduation. But uh, maybe I'll make a travelogue there. We'll see. Um, I've got this Pitfalls and Penguins recording that if you guys like me being funny, 
with my friends. This is my real life friends. And so they've known me even longer and will probably make fun of me a lot more. My real life friends are a lot meaner to me than my Hermitcraft friends. In, 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 a, in a kind-hearted, funny way. Like, so I think it'll, it'll be a good time. And uh, that project will be out in a little while. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get the first videos edited. Because we're shooting it multi-camera. And you, you can see, if you look at the first um, Pitfalls and Penguins What campaign that we made, multi-camera editing is a pretty intense thing. Although, when I first did it, I was multi-camera editing four cameras on a Mac Mini. And a Mac Mini is not the optimal multi-camera. It was a Core 2 Duo processor. It was, it was not ideal. But uh, I've got a much better editing setup now. And so, um, I don't have an exact target for how long that's going to take to put together the first episode and get that out the door, but it is something to look forward to in the next several weeks. Well, anyway, looks like I got enough seeds now. My inventory is actually filling up. Yep, my, my inventory cup runneth over with seeds and wheat. Like like I said, this, is, this was kind of fun to build. Like, just because I, I like how it looks already, and I like having the extra space between the rows. I really feel like that gives it a three-dimensionality as you go through here. And especially once I get the dirt in properly, it's going to feel a lot more like a real farm. And that's good because, you know, I'm going to get a real barn in. Those four red posts demarcate the, uh, the uh, corners of the barn. Those small white blocks you can barely see in the distance, which is a strong argument for upgrading to 1080p recording, I know. Um, those are going to demarcate the fence for the farmhouse. And it's just going to feel like a, an environment, you know? Like the way that when you go into Wells Knight's Dwarvish, Dwarvish Castle, or Fortress. Yeah, dwarfs don't have castles, they have fortresses. But yeah, when you go in there, you'll feel like, oh, okay, this is, this is really immersive, you know? Spawn is fun because it's a big mishmash of a bunch of different things. But having a base that does one thing particularly well, I think really adds a lot of aesthetic value to the server. And I clearly still need to wipe out one little tiny hill way in the backdrop there. But, you know, I can worry about that next episode. Let's hop up here and see how this looks kind of from the portal. I'm actually going to lower the elevation of the barn and the... Po well, I might leave the portal exactly where it is, just have stairs coming down. But, like, you know, when you get up here... Like, I don't know. I just, I'm really happy with how that came out. And, and once you get on a steeper angle, it's easier to kind of see the stripes... But yeah, that, that kind of looks like a field. That looks like crops, and I'm pretty excited. Well, anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.